to Fearless Friday, your day to reclaim your weekend and your life. This week, I'd like for us to talk about who you are as a person and as a spirit and as whatever label that you choose to attach to yourself. Some of my labels are mother, I'm a former Marine, I'm a teacher, I'm a student, a sister, a daughter, an aunt, all kinds of other labels that we as a society like to put on each person. And some of these labels are really great and some of them can not be so great. I know several friends of mine um, still call themselves an addict even though they haven't been using um, the thing that they were addicted to for 20 or 30 or 40 years. And so think about how you talk about yourself. Think about how you choose to perceive yourself as a person and how you choose to put yourself in boxes by how you portray yourself to people. Okay? Now think about what your goal is in life, what you really want to get out of life. When I ask people this question, when I ask people, what's your goal for your spiritual practice or what's your goal for your career, or, what's your goal for your relationship, when I'm working with them one-on-one -on -one in my coaching, most people just say, well, I just want to be happy or I want to feel fulfilled. Some people don't even know what they want. They just know that they want something different. And so when I try to have them get very specific, sometimes it's very challenging for them to be really specific. And I've spoken about this before in a few of my videos about if you want happiness, what does happiness look like to you? Well, most of the time, what I find is that when people have a hard time articulating what a certain thing means to them or what it looks like to them, let's just say that they want happiness and they have a hard time articulating what happiness is, then I turn it around and ask them, who are you? And people tend to label off all these, or I'm sorry, name off all these different labels. Well, I'm a former Marine and I'm a mom and I'm a wife and I'm yada, yada, yada. And then I'm like, no, 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 no. Who are you as a person, as a spirit? And that usually stumps people. People are like, are like um, could you rephrase the question? <laughs> so this week I would really challenge you to really ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? And who am I right now? Who do I know I can be? Who do I want to be? And how, how do I get there? What, what action steps can I take to get there? And to, to make it to that, and I, I you know, really hate to say end result because it's not the end result, but that, that best version of yourself. Now this week in our What's Up Wednesday call, we spoke for a whole hour about being the best version of yourself possible. And one of the ways that you can do this, and I've been doing this for, geez, almost as long as I can remember, is about every six months or so I ask myself, who am I right now? How am I right now? As, and you know, my, my mannerisms, my, my habits, all the things that I do day to day. And then who who am I at my best self? How do I see myself as my best self? And then I look and I compare and contrast both of those lists. And then I say, well, how can I be the best version of myself possible? How can I get to where I really want to be my goals in life? And one of the things that one of my friends actually said was, you know, when you do this, what you're doing is you're finding all the bad stuff about yourself. And I'm like, no. I'm not finding all the bad stuff about myself because I'm perfectly imperfect. <laughs> but what I'm doing is I'm trying to be the best version of myself possible based on my own measures, not based on some comparison that I'm making out here in the world, based on my own measures, based on how I know I feel the best. I feel the best when I get seven or eight hours of sleep a night. And if currently I'm only getting five hours and that's really draining and it's making me very tired, so where I'm at now is I'm getting five to six hours of sleep a night. Where I'm at, if I'm at my, de my ideal, is seven to eight hours. Okay, so what's that next action step? The next action step is to go to bed earlier or wake up later. That's it. Let's just say that right now I'm not working out at all. Maybe two or three times a week, okay, let's just say. 
So this is where I'm at now and my ideal self, where I feel the best is working out four to five times a week. Okay, so compare and contrast. This is where I'm at, this is where I feel the best. Okay, what action step can I take and baby steps at that to move and shift to that best version of myself possible. So this week I challenge you, take this self-assessment, ask yourself, where am I at right now? And does it feel good? Does it really resonate with me? And when you do this, you can allow yourself to really begin to know who you are and, your, and, and how you can shift to be the best version of yourself possible. And this best version of yourself possible is gonna shift and change every single day. So you can ask yourself, where am I at right now? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then where do I want to be? And, and where do I know I can be? And this all really just comes from taking personal responsibility for your life and putting forth the effort. And it's just baby steps. It's not, you know, going from A to Z overnight. It's going A and then B and then C and then really gradually making these little shifts and these little changes and you'll know if you're on the right track by how you feel. If it feels good, then keep going on that path to be the best version of yourself possible. And when you allow yourself to ask yourself, okay, who am I right now? And then where do I want to be? What, what is the best version of myself that I can be? And then how can I get there? This helps you to know who you are as a person and as a spirit outside of these labels. And this also will in turn help you figure out and help you better to articulate what fulfills you. Because if you don't know who you are now and who your ideal best self, your, your best version of yourself is, and you don't know what it takes to feel fulfilled and to feel at your best, how are you gonna know and how are you going to determine these other goals that you have, how are you going to determine what things you need to do and steps you need to take in order to be fulfilled in these areas if you're not even fulfilled in your own spirit and your own life? So this week I challenge you to take this self-assessment and really get to know who you are. And remember, it takes baby steps, but this is one surefire way to become fearlessly inspired. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. And if you've really loved it, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss one single episode of Fearless Friday. Then head on over to my website and get your free Fearlessly Inspired e-kit. It includes a down, actually four downloads and a PDF so, and also with that download, you will also be signed up for my wonderful newsletter that I send out every single Friday that will show up in your inbox weekly. So, I hope you have a fabulous week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.